pretend no more We don't got minutes to spend no more What's up guys, it's Christian the director and today's video is entitled Follow Me Now this particular video is all about relationship with Jesus So I'm going to start off with my scriptural reference uh, John 14 and 6 says I am the way, the truth, and the life no one comes to the father except through me basically what that means is like i just said you can't get to heaven you can't get to god without going through jesus christ first so growing deeper in god is about relationship with jesus okay so you want to know who is jesus jesus um is the son of god um god came down in human form um through uh, Virgin Mary, Joseph and Mary had the baby, boom. Here we have Jesus of Nazareth, that's where he's from. So um, fast forward, why should I trust him? So that's a little more complex, um, but I know a lot of people wanna know why should I tr trust Jesus? I think for my personal opinion, if you really look at the evidence of what Jesus has done for others, and I could I could just leave it at that. Jesus has the, from the littlest things to the the biggest things, the biggest issues. What Jesus has done is why you should trust Him. Um, what's the purpose when I can do my own thing? Simple. The purpose of giving your life to Christ is to get to heaven. That's not the sole reason, but you know, that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons to give your life to Christ so you can live a, a full out life. So your days won't be cut short. So you can really live out what God really wants for you. The purpose, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. That's the purpose straight like this, straight to the point. Um, the purpose also is to have eternal life. And yes, we have etern yes, we have free will, but God does not hold us captive. He does not hold us captive. Uh you have more than free obviously you see how the world is. You you can do what you want to, bro. Like you can do what you want to. But why do what you want when you can have a a life ten times better through God, through his favor, through his mercy, through his grace. You see what I'm saying? Um relationship in my definition is loving someone trusting someone uh giving them your last um if you had to um just putting all of your love and your effort into that and relationship with jesus and relationship with man a person is it's it's totally it's it's the same in a sense but it's really different jesus is not here to let us down though sometimes it may feel like god why you got me in this place like why you let this happen but at the end of the day jesus has our best interest in heart jesus is never going to do anything to purposely um hurt us or antagonize us or make us feel some type of way about something are you someone who doesn't want to go to church because of the people that may judge you okay so think doesn't that make you a judger as well so you're putting yourself in a box, you're putting church folk in a box, you're putting yourself in a box, and this may be costing you your salvation. And I, I pray to Jesus that this comes off in the right way. When you say, I don't want to go to church because people may look at me funny, or these people did this to me, and they gonna say this, and it's gonna hurt. So what, dog? Like... I, for my personal opinion, um, I've dealt with church hurt, but like I've mentioned before, like I, I easily forgive. However, you may not be. You may, may not want to be. You don't want to put yourself in a position to be vulnerable and feel like, man, those people going to say something crazy to me or they, they're going to look at me crazy. So what? At the end of the day, the church is your hospital. The church is the place where you go to get the, the, the help that you need, salvation that you need. And that's where you have to change your mind, your mindset and your perspective. You shouldn't be going to church in the first place and you worried about what other people going to think. So what? You're not going there for them. You're going there to have a connection and a relationship and a talk with Jesus. You're going there to have a deeper connection and just be within his presence in that space. Start at home. Start in your car. Start at the park. And, you know, use this time your time alone to just talk to God and I promise you'll talk back 
a lot of times, like for me, I'm like, why can't I hear the voice of God? But sometimes you have to really just tune out of all the loudness. What is the loudness, Christian? Your social media. Put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Turn your phone off. Um, whatever music you've been listening to, turn it off. TV, turn it off. You may even have to turn off your eating. Turn it off. And really just hone in on what Jesus is trying to say to you in that moment. It could be a full sentence or it could be one word. But how can you really, you can't really say, I don't hear from God, but you, what are you doing to allow yourself to be able to receive and hear from him? You see what I'm saying? Don't overthink it. Begin to ask God to show you signs, whether it may be um, in dreams, whether people may come up to you, whether you begin to see, you know, simple signs throughout the day, whatever it is, just draw closer to God and begin to pray and ask God, please. I don't know why I feel like this in my heart, but I want relationship with you. And or maybe you a person that um that actually has a relationship with Christ. You say you've been saved for a while or for years or have how long you have that, but it's a disconnect. I definitely want to pray with you as well. I don't suggest <laughs> having a relationship with God just to get something out of him other than love and salvation. Don't just have a relationship with God just because of what he can do for you. But have a relationship with him because of who he is. And with that being said, think about it like this. Would you want to be in a relationship with that girl or with that guy because of what they can do for you? And if your answer is yes, just pause and bring your mind back in because we're really talking about Jesus right now. But in real in real life, in real life, realistic standing nobody wants to be in a relationship where they're not benefiting in a sense of out of like having love and having companionship and having that trust like when you think about it the relationship that you should have with jesus should be greater than any relationship you have here on earth jesus should be like your best friend your role dog the person that you talk to from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep Throughout the day too, that's relationship. Why would you? Why would you want to have a relationship with somebody that you don't talk to throughout the day? That's not a relationship. And I get it. Sometimes we do get busy. Um, and we're all guilty of that. But you have to really take a step back and say, okay, God, where am I disconnecting it? Reel me back in. You see what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and get into this salvation prayer. Uh, Father God, thank you for forgiving me of all my sins. The ones that I know about and the ones that I'm unsure about, oh God. Father God, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Father God, I thank you for forgiving me of my sins, oh God. I believe that you died, you rose, and you came to give me new life. Father God, I'm thanking you right now for creating me to be a new creature in you, oh God. Jesus, I know this walk is not easy and it's not going to be easy. But Jesus, I pray right now that you show me the way. You give me the direct guidance. You put the right people in my life and you align my steps with your will. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that's it. You say you your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You guaranteed a spot in heaven. You have sealed your fate in heaven. Now it's just time to do the work. All right, I see y'all on the next video. New Saint Holy, the little bit homie, the place been made in the game can't control me. I'm from the north side where the city.